Hello, I'm Dan Bennett. I work for HP. I'm here right now on the Cakewalk booth in the Roland Arena at NAMM 2012 in Anaheim. And uh, I'm really excited because Cakewalk has been using cool hardware from HP for powering their booth this year and it's been working really well for them. Um, they've enjoyed the computational power and the, the strength of the workstation. I want to show you what's inside the box because that's pretty much as cool as what the box actually does. We'll draw your attention to the outside of the box. It was designed, or at least the look and feel was designed by BMW, believe it or not. Uh, HP contracted with BMW Design Works in Thousand Oaks here in Southern California um, to design what the, book, the box might look like. The mechanical design though is actually entirely done by HP in Fort Collins in Colorado which happens to be where I am based. Um, the, the box, I should say, has about 21 patents applied for just on the hardware design of the box which is a truly amazing amount of innovation went into it. So without further ado, I'm going to pop the side off See the side comes off very easily. I should just draw your attention to the inside of the side where you have a graphic which makes it really clear where you put your memory, what the slots are, which ones are PCI Express and what levels of connectivity they have and, and so on. So you cannot lose the instructions because they're right there on the inside of the, of the, uh, the side panel. But inside the box it um, doesn't look like any workstation that came before it. It's, it's kind of unique. So let me show you a few features. I'm going to start at the top of the box with the power supply. That's the power supply. Didn't take too long to take out now, did it? Um, the, the power supply was designed this way for easy replacement, easy serviceability. In fact, end users can very easily check the functioning of the power supply. If you take the power supply out and plug a power cable into here, a live power cable, if this green LED lights up, the power supply has done a self-test and is working fine. The reason it's a strange shape is for airflow reasons. This odd overhang at the end, at the front end of the power supply, allows, allowed HP to put in wider diameter fans. Wider di diameter fans run slower and therefore are quieter and more reliable. And so therefore it brings in air through a vent that's underneath the front handle on the case. The air gets pushed through the whole power supply, exhausted at the back, and comes out through a vent by the rear handle. So if your hands are cold, you can always warm them up on the rear handle of an HP workstation. It's almost not noticeable that it's warm, but it is slightly warmer than the front. We have this concept of blind mate connectors, we call it blind mate, which connect through to the connectors at the back of the chassis there. Which means that there are no cables, no reconnection that you need to worry about. You just put it back into the box, lift the handle, the power supply is replaced. It's as easy as that. It's just awesome. This next piece of plastic here is a, a, a uh, cowling which is used for airflow management. It comes off as easily as that and reveals the, the heat sinks for the two CPUs. Uh, in this workstation, those are both Intel Xeon CPUs with six cores apiece. And then there's a cooling assembly here which also comes off very easily uh, like this. And the way this cooling assembly is designed, it's got fans here which run above the memory that's on the motherboard. And you know how when you put fans back in a computer you quite often forget to reconnect the cable? In this case, no problem because the cable connector is here which makes for the connector on the corner of the motherboard. And so as soon as you replace this assembly, the, the fans are reconnected. You cannot forget to connect the fans. So, two processors. And you'll notice that at the bottom of this assembly there is a scoop here and this scoop is used to make sure that the air that is exhausted by this processor does not go straight into the front end of this processor. In other words, this processor is getting fresh air in this direction through the, um, in the back side of the scoop. Going down a little further, this assembly is also for heating and cooling, well for, for, for um, airflow. You see it's got some sheet steel in it for some rigidity and there's a reason for that. It's actually the component that holds in any graphics cards that you've got here. Now this is um, an NVIDIA Quadro 400 graphics card. It is a professional graphics card but it's what we would call an entry level one. Um, the high end ones take up two slots a piece and are big, mo big monsters which run most of the way back through the case. They weigh a lot and so you need something strong like this and these tangs here to hold those cards in place. Let me show you a little innovation though. If I wanted to take the card out, which I'm not doing right now, but if I wanted to, 
All I have to do is swing this metal bar out of the way, lift up the little tag there, and pull the, the card out. No screws, and that was a design decision by HP, because so often if you've got something with a screw and you drop the screw and it disappears behind the motherboard, you have to dismantle the whole thing to take it out. I have had that with uh, other computers, shall we say, not from HP. So in this case, no screws and no tools needed except your hands. Let me show you another innovation. Suppose when I'm putting this thing back, suppose I forget to rotate this bar in place. Well, do you notice there's a small green lever at the top? That, me that, that cams against this quarter circle cutout that we have here. And if you want to zoom in closely to see what's going on on the top of this assembly, as I close this, it pushes that green bar so that even if I forget to close that bar before I start, it's in the right place when I'm done. Another innovation, probably one of our patents right there. Um, disk drives are stored in these little cradles. Here's a disk drive. And in fact, this plastic cradle, while not the kind of hardware you might find in a server, certainly makes it very convenient to install and remove hard drives. So you can imagine this was a bare hard drive straight out of the, the packaging. I can put it straight into here and with a little bit of brute force, Takes, takes a little bit of work, then it ends up in the cradle and can go straight back into the box. There we go, I just seem to have slipped one of... Oh, while this has come out, let me show it to you. <laughs> so this is one of the pins that holds in the hard drive. It has a blue rubber insert, that's neoprene rubber, and the reason for installing that is for acoustic isolation. And so the reason for that is because hard drives are fairly noisy. So if you can suspend them acoustically from the chassis, that keeps the noise down from being radiated from the box of the workstation. So acoustic quietness is one of the design considerations that went into this. The fans are very quiet, the hard drives are very quiet, and, and it's a great solution. Final thing to show you, I guess, is if I want to remove the optical drive or replace it, I just pull off the two cables that feed it. I lift out this panel and push. And there it is. So this one is a DVD, but if I wanted to put in a Blu-ray drive instead, then it's very easy. Slide it in the front. It's installed, I reconnect the cables, and we're good to go. It is as easy as that. Furthermore, this workstation is very, very rigid. It is rack mountable. We just have to remove the top panel and it exposes the captive thread, the threaded holes for the rack kits that we also sell. So if it needs to go into a, a rack, then it can do very rigidly and, and will be perfectly safe there. So we think it's a totally awesome workstation for music production. It's already uh, dominant in the animation space, video editing, film compositing, and so on. But for audio, it's just, just magnificent. So we're pleased to be here and showing it off now. Learn more about the Ultimate Sonar Workstation at cakewalk.com. Click Support, Learning Resources, DAW Labs, under Buy a Computer, click Desktops, and choose your workstation.